Good morning, folks. We got Randy of Father and Sons Fishing joined by McGee, otherwise known as my son Ryan. His nickname is McGee. And we are coming at you on an early chilly morning from Frisco, North Carolina, where no we're doing. <laughs> we don't want to. We don't want to tell the people exactly where we are. We're doing some shelling, and we've already found some shells. And we're like, man, we should really make a video because this is just fun. What we're doing is we're driving along, and Ryan here is running out and grabbing the shells. Dad staying in the warm truck, but Ryan, like every time, like we found a couple of decent whelks, right? Yeah. And man, the joy on your face, like I just love it. So I want to capture that on video. Ryan, I'm turning it over to you, my man. I think that, I think that's a piece of driftwood. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, let me just check. Let me just check. Oh yeah, yeah, I see, I see it. I think I see two. No, I see three, I see three. No, I see four, I see five. I see six. All right, I saw on the left. I'm gonna start on the left. All right. Good knob, Wilk. All right. White Wilk. Oh. Knob, Wilk. Nice. Hey, look, I channeled well. Ooh. Oh, it's almost attacked. Yeah. All right, so great little batch. Let's get back in the world. Everything else is in a keeper. Okay. Oh. I see, I see three. No, I see four, I see four. Yeah, uh, that's pretty good. We'll do it. Oh, it looks like we got channeled. Oh, there was a channel! Channel roll. All right. Oh, this is a lightning roll? Okay. And not the roll. No, it's, it's going to be a keeper. Oh, my hands are literally full. Oh, okay. Not the well. Oh shoot. Yeah. It's pretty pretty. Pretty pretty pretty. Oh. Okay. And another not the well. My hands are literally full. Can you open the back? out there bro you missed this massive shark eye <laughs> shell but that's not the one you're gonna be disappointed about the one you're gonna be disappointed about missing is this helmet shell oh! now unfortunately 
it's not fully intact, but look at that, look at that thing. Wow. <laughs> oh man, that is so cool. All right, let's do a little bit more here. All right. <laughs> Here's the kicker, people have already been through here because you can see footsteps. Yeah. I'll go all the way up here and work my way back and then you start back there, okay? Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pretty big dog walk. Okay, so. Ooh, we have a big bunch, okay. Um. All right, let's pick up the snot. Pretty good. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. Snog walk. Um, I think that's it's pretty good. Um, well, here, wait, let me just get this one first. Wait, Dad! Wait, I, I, I forget what this one's, I forget what this one's called. Wait, what, wait, what kind of uh, walk is this called again? Dude! What? Oh my god, that's a con show. Is it con? Yeah, that's a con. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Try not to be so excited. That's a conch shell, bro. I think that's like a, a fighting conch, I believe. All right. Nice. <laughs> you can't even catch your breath. <laughs> I love it. You got a conch on the outer face. Let's get this one up front. I just go to Ryan, look up Fighting Conk, and I thought you meant like um, uh, like um, and book in hand. He goes, I don't have any internet. <laughs> when I was a kid, do you know how many times Grandma Nancy or Papa Steve would make me get out the dictionary? I'd ask him a question, and be like, Look it up, look it up. Okay, so we, McGee has got a Florida Fighting Conk. Boom, boom. Show the people a little bit better. Show the top. Awesome. Dripping sand and salt water everywhere in the truck. That's okay. All right, let's roll. We got more showing to do. How about that, everybody? Florida fighting conch. So tell me about you finding that. So I went west. All right. Story interrupted. Let's go show. I see a little group here. There's some over there that probably just washed up, right? See those? Stop. Pull out this one. That's good. Look. It's a body. Tell the people what kind of shell that is for real. It's a um, it's a knob. A knob walk, yeah. What about that one up there? Yeah. Ah, ah. See, a couple good ones, huh? Oh, hey, you want to show this? Show the people this Atlantic cockle, which is right there. This? I believe that's called an Atlantic cockle. Pick it up. Yeah. We don't, I mean, we usually go for the, the sexy scotch bonnets and whelks, but that's a cockle shell, C-O-C-K-L-E. And, <laughs> and it goes back down. Here's another little whelk. Oh, that one's not really. Oh, here's another cockle. Hundred percent knob whelk. Oh. 100% Yeah, that's a whelk. Oh no, it's hot, it's hot broken. Are you sure? Huh. You want to yeah. get out and look? Yeah, also. Oh, I think we got a bolt. Oh! It's a hundred percent! Oh! Hundred percent, sir. I told you this kid gets so excited. Right, come back here. <laughs> I love finding the shells, but even more, I love just seeing his reaction. Well, that is massive, right? Tell the people what kind of shell that is. Lightning. Yeah, lightning well. Good job. <laughs> well, Ryan and I are back after a very fun and productive day of shelling. Ryan. Yeah. Show the people the highlights of the day. Okay, so this is a fortifying conch. It is very rare here in the Outer Banks, so this is a really great find. Awesome. Intact Scotch bonnet. 
show the people. We didn't even we didn't even get that on camera. We were so frantically finding shells. We found a really small but beautiful intact Scotch bonnet. So Scotch bonnets are pretty rare, and in the in an intact one. Yeah, fully intact ones are even rarer. So this Beautiful. was a pretty good find. Okay, and then show us show the kind of third highlight of the day. It's it's certainly not intact, but we found a very decent sized for us decent sized helmet shell. So helmet sh shells are extremely rare, especially for this size. As you can see, it's not fully intact, but um, this is really rare. So yeah. And then we're just going to quickly go through here. We found a lot of channeled whelks now none of these are intact we rarely i don't we've only found maybe a couple ever intact channeled whelks because they're so thin they break easily but we found several so we we like the non-intact ones and then a whole bunch of lightning and knobbed whelks a whole bunch of them we have two of the biggest shark eye shells three of them actually this one's not fully intact but some huge shark eye shells another couple channeled whelks over there and we we forgot how much shell. oh yeah show them that yeah. it's just kind of the teeth of it yes Teeth. Yeah. Ish. Like if you ever lose some teeth, we could probably just replace you. If you, we could just replace this your bottom jaw with that, probably, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then let's see. We got a couple. Yeah, we got a couple more channel walks. And this mamba jamba of a what is this? A uh, knob a knob whelk. So Ryan, let's end this video so we don't blab on for too long. Your dad has a tendency to do that, not you. So say friends. Thanks for joining us on the shelling adventure. Friends, thanks for joining us on the shelling adventure. Peace out. We'll see you later. Oh, and folks, we forgot to say one other thing. We always pick up trash on the beach whenever we're looking for shells. And we actually didn't find very much today. We just found part of a broken bottle, the obligatory aluminum can, and <laughs> one of the most, I mean, it's a, a, do we call it litter? I don't know, but we found one of the most unique uh, things ever. So Ryan, you hold that. We found this decoy today. Side note, Ryan, Ryan actually thought it was a live bird when we first came up to it. I was scared. So, so, I was scared to touch it. So whoever made that decoy did a very good job. <laughs> he, he, was, he came up to it and he was like scared.